Module 5, Popular Database Management Systems Overview of Popular Database Management Systems There are numerous database management systems, DBMS, available today, each with its own strengths and weaknesses, and catering to different use cases and requirements. Here's an overview of some popular DBMS. 1. MySQL MySQL is a popular open-source relational DBMS that is widely used for web applications and other data-intensive applications. It is known for its ease of use, scalability, and performance, and is compatible with various operating systems, programming languages, and platforms. MySQL is commonly used in conjunction with PHP to build dynamic websites and is often used in the LAMP, Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, Stack. 2. Microsoft SQL Server Microsoft SQL Server is a popular relational DBMS developed by Microsoft, which is commonly used for Windows-based applications. It offers a comprehensive set of features for data management, business intelligence, and advanced analytics. SQL Server provides tight integration with other Microsoft products and technologies, such as Windows Server, .NET Framework, and Azure Cloud Services. 3. Oracle Database Oracle Database is a widely used enterprise-class relational DBMS that offers a wide range of features and capabilities for large-scale, mission-critical applications. It is known for its scalability, security, and high availability features, and is often used in large organizations and data-intensive industries such as finance, telecommunications, and healthcare. 4. PostgreSQL PostgreSQL is a powerful open-source relational DBMS known for its extensibility, data integrity, and support for advanced data types. It offers a rich set of features for data management, including support for spatial data, full-text search, and JSON data. PostgreSQL is popular among developers and is often used in web applications, mobile apps, and geospatial applications. 5. MongoDB MongoDB is a popular open-source NoSQL DBMS that is designed for handling unstructured or semi-structured data, such as JSON documents. It offers high scalability, flexibility, and performance for handling large amounts of data in distributed environments. MongoDB is commonly used in modern web applications, mobile apps, and IoT applications. 6. Redis Redis is an open-source in-memory data store that is often used as a high-performance, distributed caching system. It is known for its simplicity, speed, and versatility, and is commonly used in real-time applications, such as messaging systems, gaming, and analytics. 7. Cassandra Cassandra is a popular open-source NoSQL DBMS that is designed for handling large-scale, distributed data across multiple clusters and nodes. It is known for its high availability, fault tolerance, and ability to handle high write loads. Cassandra is commonly used in applications that require high scalability and performance, such as big data analytics, IoT, and real-time streaming. These are just a few examples of popular DBMS, and there are many other options available in the market with varying features, performance characteristics, and use cases. When selecting a DBMS, it's important to consider factors such as the specific requirements of your application, scalability needs, data model, performance requirements, ease of use, licensing, and cost. It's also essential to follow best practices for database management, including data modeling, indexing, backup and recovery, security, and performance optimization, to ensure efficient and secure data management. Installing and configuring MySQL Microsoft SQL Server, and Oracle. Installing and configuring MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server, and Oracle involves several steps depending on the operating system you are using. Here's a general overview of the installation and configuration process for each DBMS. 1. MySQL. Download the MySQL installer from the MySQL website https colon slash slash www.mysql.com slash downloads and run the installer. Follow the prompts to choose the installation type, configure server options, such as port number, root password, etc., and select components to install, such as MySQL Server, MySQL Workbench, etc. Complete the installation process and start the MySQL service. 
Connect to the MySQL server using MySQL client tools, such as MySQL Workbench or MySQL Command Line Client, and configure any additional settings as needed. 2. Microsoft SQL Server Download the SQL Server installation media from the Microsoft website, https colon slash slash www.microsoft.com slash and dash s slash SQL dash server slash SQL dash server dash downloads, and run the installer. Follow the prompts to choose the installation type, edition, and features to install, such as database engine services, SQL Server Management Studio, etc. Configure server options, such as instance name, authentication mode, and server collation. Complete the installation process and start the SQL Server service. Connect to the SQL Server instance using SQL Server Management Studio or other SQL Server client tools and configure any additional settings as needed. 3. Oracle Download the Oracle database installation media from the Oracle website, https colon slash slash www.oracle.com slash database slash technology slash oracle dash database dash software dash downloads dot html, and run the installer. Follow the prompts to choose the installation type, edition, and features to install, such as Oracle database, Oracle enterprise manager, etc. Configure server options, such as database name, listener settings, and administrative password. Complete the installation process and start the Oracle database service. Connect to the Oracle database using Oracle client tools, such as SQL Asterisk Plus, SQL Developer, or other Oracle client applications, and configure any additional settings as needed. It's important to follow the installation and configuration instructions provided by the respective DBMS vendors, as the process may vary depending on the version, edition, and operating system you are using. Additionally, ensure that you have the necessary system requirements and permissions to install and configure the DBMS, and follow best practices for securing and managing the database after installation, such as setting up appropriate authentication, authorization, backups, and monitoring. Thanks for watching. For more information like comment and subscribe our channel.